going on everybody it's asic eric in the garage again uh no pops against today um his procedure went well so we should see him in a couple of weeks i hope um so fingers crossed i'll uh, we'll see him again soon uh, so i'm back in here again putzing around with all this wiring under here so i want to get all this cleaned up tucked up out of the way get everything tested and uh get the dash up in here i hope um, I don't know if I'll get the dash in here today or not, but I uh, just want to go through all the wires, make sure everything that I have in here is working. I have to do something with the um, <clears throat> Dakota Digital stuff. I have to make an extension cord uh, or extend one of the, the wires there uh, so that I can get the TPM sensor and the te compass temp sensor down here someplace. So I got to do that, and then just this jumble of wires here, get this all tucked up and out of the way so it's not such a mess. Yeah, and uh, take it from there. So I'm just going to start just going through here and cleaning things up. <clears throat> okay, so with the uh, compass and temperature module, it came with a six-foot um, connector to go between the, the bim over there and the connector, um, <clears throat> which I used that cable between these two not realizing I needed to run it from there all the way down to here. Um, and then the other ones come with this just like 18 inch one, which is too short. Um, so that's why I had to take this one and extend it. So I just had some small, this is like 20 gauge wires and it was pretty thin, 22 even maybe. <clears throat> so I made an extension for this. So I'm gonna pull this guy here, you see I have running up in here, pull that one out and run it down to here as an extension and then run this one between these two right here. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna wrap this in some, uh, some loom first. So let me get that done. Doesn't look like I've done much, but I have been busy. So I got the uh, headlight and wiper switch harness here, threaded back in and back across. I got it tied up here right now just to keep it out of the way. Got all of this cleaned up back in here. My OBD2 port in the right place. Got all of the BIM wires and stuff tucked up in here. This guy's routed now down to here. Cleaned up all these wires here so this looks better. So this thing is just gonna kinda tuck up in there like that behind all the vents and stuff, don't know yet. Um, this guy, I'm not quite sure what to do with. I might can just kinda stick it up, up in here somewhere, but I don't know if I ever need access to it later. Probably not. Um, I'll probably just leave this loose and then when I get the dash and I'll just tuck it up under the dash somewhere. Uh, seat belt light here. All this stuff goes across to the vintage air, so that's all good. Um, so I'm going to get out the tire pressure monitor, get that connected, um, and then turn everything on and see if everything still works uh, and whether the TPM sensor works at all. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, here's these goodies. So this is the the BIM module here, TPMS sensor, a receiver. Um, here are all of the tire pressure sensors. It's a drag because I put um, tire pressure monitors in my tires when I put these wheels on. Um, I put the Ford Flex style in there and I was going to build one of these things. Um, of course, now I'm going to do it this way. So I paid all the money to have those sent buy those sensors and have them put them in the wheels, and now they're just going to go to waste. So I have to swap them for those other ones. Anyway, so this guy is going to go there. I have to figure out where to put this. Um, this can go anywhere. You don't need to see it. Um, this one has got some diags and stuff on it, and I think when you reprogram it to where which uh, uh, sensor corresponds to which wheel, I think you have to get access to that. So. I'm just going to kind of lay it in here and get it plugged up and again see if it works. All right, so in the setup menu and the gauges here, um, under setup for BIM, it shows left front, whoops, left front, right front, sorry, left rear, right rear, and compass. So they're all showing up, which is good. Let's see if I can get those into the display here somewhere. I'm like, what it says? Hey, look at that. Compass Southwest 71. Let's see if I turn it. Sorry. Still says Southwest 71. Oh, no, South. Look at that. It works. 
and the temperature sensor works. I don't know why it's turned orange, but let's see. If I go back, look at that. Sorry, it's hard to film this thing. Yeah, it's working. Okay, that's all good. Um, last but not least, I guess we'll see if the car still starts. No, I haven't tried starting it in a long time, so hang on a second. Well, it started, but it was running really rough. And then it died, so I hope that means it's out of gas. <laughs> I didn't really put very much gas in it. Um, so I have to put some more gas in it. Hopefully that'll fix it. But it was definitely not running on eight cylinders. Um, so hopefully that's all it was, was out of gas. Um, so we'll get some more gas, try it again next time. But uh, yeah, it started. So everything's working uh, in here, at least. Um, I'm going to call it a day. I'm tired, not feeling all that hot today. Kind of worn out. Um, but we got most of that stuff cleaned up under there. So there's just a couple of things left and uh, we're ready to jam the dash up in there. So we're pretty close. Um, maybe I'll wait till Pops gets back to put the dash in because I think he would find that exciting. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it. A short video today. Thanks, everybody. Take it easy. See ya.